Welcome to the Trust the Prophet Spotlight Series. In this video, we are looking at as close to a Bob Baffert you can get, I guess, and that is Practical Move. What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Please like and subscribe. El Hombre, my man, how are you? We're doing good, baby. We're talking all the spotlight. We're, we're highlighting all the top contenders here. Practical Move is the subject tonight. Practical move, and we've heard the name Tim Yakteen, many of us maybe for the first time, because he was a barn that a lot of the Bob Bafferts who couldn't run last year's Churchill uh, at Churchill for the Kentucky Derby moved into the Tim Yakteen barn, and a lot of Bafferts did as well this year. Not all of them. Some of them went to the Asmussen barn. But one that did not come from Bob Baffert that was always with Tim Yakteen is the horse Practical Move. I was high on practical move going into the run happy. I had him in the San Felipe. Uh, after the run happy Sander Nita Derby, though, he has dropped down off of my list of who I think might win the Kentucky Derby. I think you kind of feel the same way as me. And what, what brings it into question for me is you kind of, you know, compartmentalize the country. And this is the horse coming from the West Coast, right? And I think you start to wonder, well, what was in the West, what was over in the West Coast? that makes you think that he's going to come over and beat the horses that had been running at Oakland and fairgrounds and, and at Gulfstream. He hasn't beaten any starters in the Kentucky Derby in the races he's been in. And for that reason, or at least one of the reasons I am not really as interested in practical move as I was before. How about you? Yeah, there's no chance the horse is going to win. I have no interest in him. I won't put him on any tickets. I won't even put him underneath. Look, look at if you look at the right side of the slide we're displaying here, he does have the biggest equibase speed figures and buyer figures you're going to see out of any horses. And this is because California Santa Anita produces bigger buyer figures. It's just a fact. It's always been the case. Uh, I, that, I was kind of with you a little bit earlier in the season. I was curious on practical move. I was never all in on him by any stretch of the imagination. But after watching... Mandarin Hero, who is uh, a second second tier Japanese horse, and I, I say that with all due respect. I don't know, I don't know Japanese horse racing that well, but I've been told is a you know a second circuit, uh, way below Derma Sotogake type quality horse, comes over here and almost rips the soul out of this horse uh, at the wire. And by the way, was closing much harder. Practical move was laying anchor. He's got nothing. This horse is nothing. To me, I don't know how he's number five. He's he's actually number five on our consensus list. I'm embarrassed. Uh, I'm embarrassed. Uh, I will jump off the Brooklyn Bridge and kill myself. If this horse wins the Kentucky Derby. How's that? Uh, that's saying is that enough for you. I mean, is that yeah? I won't bet him. I don't care if he's a hundred to one. I won't bet him. Not a dollar. That's saying a lot. Here he is in the San Felipe, uh, winning that race I talked about at ten to one, coming from a little bit off the pace. Beat a horse for like Chajazi, Carmel Road. Fort Bragg, and I think, you know, he put away this field, you know, pretty nicely. He earned a 105 Brisnet speed figure. As you talked about, he's actually the only one other than two fills and Forte with a triple right, can double. You, can we pause this video here or no? Can you? Can right there. You there you go. Ability? All right. There you go. Here we go. Now, the, the replay we just showed, he beat nobody. Can we can we do a quick review? He beat nobody. Hajazi was, I was even a little bit high on Hajazi. Didn't work out to be anything. Nobody else in that field developed into anything. And now we're going to watch this, a Santa Anita Derby. We have a 50 to 1 toilet, one in Vermillion up there. Fine. We have Mandarin Hero, which I said was a second to third tier Japanese horse. And we have Skinner, who was a high, you know, highly touted. I still think Skinner's a good horse. He'll he'll do fine. He's young. But there's nobody in this race. National Treasure's a toilet. I don't care. He's overrated. Now watch what happens here. Pay attention to the Japanese horse. Who's coming up the center here, I believe. Yeah. And here's, here's, here's everybody's your old practical move. Getting just, I mean, if there's another 50 feet of this race, he's beat by the third tier Japanese horse. Is this the horse you're going to put money on to go beat Derma Sotogake, Forte, Tapit Trice? I mean, is he going to get it done? You really believe it? It's up I to don't. you, folks. I don't. He had a perfect trip in the Santa Anita Derby, although he was close to the fast pace. He just barely held off, him, as you mentioned, Mandarin Hero. He did finish that final for long under 13 seconds, if you prescribe to the final fractions theory. Hasn't beaten any Derby starters. 
I think with the perfect trip, he's usually, you know, he, he has faced a little bit bigger fields than what you're used to seeing over in Santa Anita, right? Usually you're seeing these horses face six and seven. He's at least beaten nine um, in the second race in his maiden special weight when he finished third. There was 10 in that field. Um, but the Los Al was five again. Um, is by practical joke who average winning distance is 6.4. And that's the question on the pedigree side uh, is certainly practical joke is someone that you usually think of being a little bit of shorter distance. So as you mentioned, looked like he might've gotten caught there. Uh, if there was another 16th of a mile, um, I think that the distance and what we saw there in the perfect trips are reasons that I agree with you. Uh, my extreme excitement for practical move and reincarnate. Those are kind of the two horses that I had been really intrigued by uh, coming over from the West coast. I'm now deciding to pass as well. Well, the best horse to me was a go rocket ride who, who had the setback and had to pull out of the race. That was the horse I thought was going to win that. And um, I don't know. I think we all kind of had that soft spot for yak team because he, he was kind of a, practical joke last year because he was you know he inherited all these baffert monsters last year and everybody's like who the hell's tim yakteen i mean obviously horse racing industry knows who tim yakteen is but uh to the common folks at home and to, to a lot of uh even fringe fans yakteen was a new name and all of a sudden he inherited two or three of the best horses in the country so this was not one of those this was his and, the, and that was kind of a a cool story you'd, you'd like to see practical move be a contender and and to be honest with you a lot of people still have him as a big contender so i'm sorry if i'm insulting people here but i don't i don't see it at all i, I really don't i mean he i don't see it I'll, I'll be shocked if he if he's even on the board there if you like practical move i think what you have to pay attention to is like you mentioned mandarin hero almost catching him at the wire there because there's this japanese horse derma sotogaki who, as you mentioned, it should be a, a step above Mandarin Hero. And so to me, if I'm going to continue with this path that I had been going down of liking Practical Move, I would pivot and put some money on Derma Sotogake as opposed to Practical Move based off what I saw in that Santa Anita Derby. Or even Mandarin Hero, if he makes the field, he's he's on the outside looking in. I think, I think he's got a reasonable shot of getting in, though. I mean, the points, the way the points works out, we'll see, but. Mandarin Hero is no joke either, so I don't know. I, I don't see it. I, don't jump. Again, I'm, I apologize if I insult anybody with this thing, but I will be up in Brooklyn jumping off the freaking bridge if he wins because that's 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 how little of faith I have in practical move. Uh, there's would, just too many better options, baby. Would you consider him for your try or supers? No. Okay. Not even, no. Does he beat half the field? No. Does he beat 15 horses in the field? Uh, I'll put him. I mean, he's going to finish between 12th and 20th. I, I, that's okay. I don't see it at all. I mean, he's got, there's nothing that stands out about him. It's not like he's going to go set. It's not like, uh, you know, life is good or something. You go out and just lay down a blistering pace. And if everything goes great, you're gone. Like well, they tried to send him on flight line. There's not, there's nothing redeeming about this horse. He doesn't do anything right. Compared to the others. Now, you put them in. I'm not saying the horse. The, obviously, anybody who's in the Derby field is a great horse. They, they, they've they earned it. You know, they're in the top 1% of all of horse racing, right? But I don't see it here. I'm sorry. I think he's about the 15th best. I think he will have an impact on the race, though, because we have talked about there's not a lot of early speed. And I think he would be one of the ones that's going out early and, and kind of mixing it up. Right. So we hope he has. Yeah. I mean, they, they got to, I think that's the type of horse you got to send and see what happens because that, that's really the only opportunity he's going to get. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm uh, scorned by that Mandarin hero almost upset there, but I'm from the school that doesn't believe that Mandarin hero is that great. It just showed that practical move is that vulnerable. That, that's how I take it. I don't think that. I think that the, the whole West Coast looked pretty bad there. He's a pass for El Hombre. He's a pass for me at this point. We will see what happens on the first Saturday of May. This is the Spotlight Series. Please like and subscribe. We are going to have every horse highlighted for you in this year's Kentucky Derby. Anything else, El Hombre? No, man, that's it. Brooklyn Bridge me. Roll it.